name is Mikhail Masnet and you are watching my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm doing the little Jeffree star and you, you know how he, you know how he does that. I'm sorry Jeffree for stealing your move. I'll never do it ever again. Today I'm here to create this beautiful look that I just filmed for you guys. It is a warm, smoky, brown eye look. I think I'm going to call it warm, brown, smoky eye. I think that's the title. I'm not quite sure yet, but obviously you would have known by now if you clicked on this video. <laughs> so I wanted to get this video up for you guys this week because I wanted to create another eye look and I've been wanting to create this for like three months now and I just haven't filmed and done it. Um, I think you could wear this for um, Valentine's Day coming up. So yeah. Um, I don't think I have anything else I want to jabber about. Um, this video is going to be like my last video, which was my Valentine's Day look with Modern Renaissance palette. Meaning I'm just showing you guys my eye look. I'm not going in depth of my face. I'm only showing you, telling you guys what products I used on my face. So yeah, that is all. I'm going to stop rambling and let's just jump into the video. Okay, let's put on the cat ears. So I did this look for Thanksgiving and I really liked it and ever since Thanksgiving I've wanted to recreate it but it's like February. <laughs> I obviously have not recreated it yet. Okay, before I start the actual look I wanted to show you guys what I have on my face because I already have my face makeup done. I use the L'Oreal Pro Glow for my foundation. I also use primer and like concealer and all that jazz. I just wasn't really gonna show everything. <laughs> um, and then for an overall powder, I use the Hello Flawless by Benefit. I've actually been really loving this. I feel like it has really good coverage for like an everyday powder. I'm obsessed with this one. Um, for bronzer, I used the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, as always. And then blush is Too Faced. It is one of the love flushes and it is in the color I Will Always Love You. It's a gorgeous peachy high, or I almost said peachy highlight. Gorgeous peachy blush that I'm just obsessed with. And you're probably wondering what this glow is. Like, probably like, girl, what are you wearing for your glow? <laughs> um, it is ColourPop here, Kitty Kitty. I've raved about this product many, many times on my channel so far. So, if you guys didn't guess that, um, you probably should have. <laughs> Just kidding, I love you guys. So yeah, that's what I used overall my whole entire face, and all I have to do is my eyes and my brows, and that's what we are here today to show you. Um, today is, like I said in the intro, obviously you can tell by the title as well, is a brown, smoky eye. Warm brown, smoky eye. I wore this, like I said, for Thanksgiving, and I loved it, and I had a lot of people want me to recreate it so that's what I'm doing today I just have my Vera Mona color switch because I use this every time in my eyeshadows so I'm gonna zoom you guys in and then we'll get started on the lip. Oh, I already have my eye primer on I always use the Urban Decay one literally always that's the only one I like ever use um, so I am using the Jaclyn Hill palette um, I am obsessed with this palette, <laughs> as you guys probably know. Um, I use this palette because I brought it to me for Thanksgiving on in Texas. So I use this palette to recreate this look, and I wanted to use a different palette actually. But I don't know. This this palette just has so many good brown shades. Like I had I had to use it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I am going to start off with this color right here, and I am going to put that all over my crease. Just to get good, nice transition. Next shade, I'm going to use obviously the pukey color that I always use, which is this one that I'm pointing to. Um, so I don't really remember what I did for the Thanksgiving look. I kind of remember it being like a gradient effect as I got closer to the lash line. It would be darker and darker browns. So, I don't really remember what I did, honestly. So, I'm just trying to mimic it if at the best, to the best of my ability. 
I do know, I do remember these were all matte brown shades, matte brown warm shades. Okay, next shade. I'm gonna grab a different brush. Um, again, I'm using all Wet n Wild brushes like I normally do. Um, if you guys want to know what brushes I use, please comment down below because I really don't feel like I need to tell you guys what brushes I'm using. I don't know, but if you guys want me to know, if you guys want to know, just 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 throw it down in the comments. I'm gonna grab this shade right here. It's another brown warmy shade, and I'm gonna put this in the crease and start to slowly put it down on the lid. So as you can tell, I'm not going all the way up here like my transition area. I'm really just focusing on this on the lid and like halfway in my um, lid space. So this look really really calls for blended eye look so I'm just gonna go back with the previous brush that I used and just blend it out because you just really want to make sure all of these brown shades that you're using are super blended together you don't want any any harsh lines we're creating a gradient effect so we don't want those harsh lines coming in so we're going to go in with a darker brown. I think I'm going to use this chocolatey brown shade right here. And I'm actually going to put this like directly on the lid, like my whole lid. <laughs> um, so I'm going to grab a shader brush for the lid. So since this brown shade is totally darker than the others, it's kind of like a big jump. We're just going to really want to make sure we blend this very out. Alright, so that is packed on there. Grabbing a fluffy brush and just blending it out. I'm gonna grab the brush that I just used and use that previous color that I used to mesh these together. For the lower lash line, I'm really going to use two shades. I'm going to use this pukey color, and then depending on how that looks, I might add that third brown shade that we used. Um, I'm just going to kind of go for it and see what outcome looks like. Yeah, we're going to use that third brown shade that we used and put this in the lower lash line as well. brows I'm using Anastasia Brow Wiz and then Gimme Brow by Benefit um, I got my brows waxed last week so they'd be looking nice so when I do my brows every day I don't fill them in I just fill in the tail portion because this side of my eyebrow doesn't have a tail because <laughs> I wax it off um, and then I kind of go in the middle and just kind of fill in the sparse areas in the middle. I don't touch the front at all because I just like those natural brows, so I don't even touch the front of the brow. been trying out the Maybelline Brow Precise Illuminator um, Perfecting Highlighter. I don't know. I think it's Perfecting Highlighter. And I actually really like this. Um, so what you do is you just put it on the high parts of your high parts, how high points of your brow just like this and then I just blend it out with my finger just because it's easier that way. And it like, I use this for like day to day, I've been, well I've only had it for a little bit, but like it just gives that like perfect highlight, like it, it's not shimmery so that's why I like it. 
and it just like adds it's just like a perfect shade so for highlight today we're gonna go in with the second shade mm, actually yeah the second shade right here we're gonna add that on the brow bone and the inner corner highlight today curl my lashes and then I am also trying out the Total Temptation um, mascara by Maybelline um, so far I really like this the only bad part I would say about this is it collects on my top of my lid so like every so often like I'll open snapchat and take a picture and like there's just black streak marks from the mascara and I absolutely hate when mascaras do that like I hate it I hate it, I hate it. but I don't know, maybe it's like, I don't know. But I'm going to still continue trying it out because I really do like the effect it has on my lashes. So, we're using that today. We have the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Beule for some lip gloss. done with the look I think it turned out super cute I really like this look um like I said I did it for Thanksgiving so if you guys saw my Thanksgiving stuff you guys would have already seen this look and I think I mentioned um if you guys wanted to see this look and I had a couple people be like yeah girl we want to see it and I know it's been literally three months ago but I am finally here showing you guys this gorgeous smoky warm brown it's super easy oh my gosh this was so easy to do um so yeah that is all for today please 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 subscribe if you haven't yet i'd love you guys to be part of my little family that is happening also if you guys could give this video a thumbs up that would mean a lot as well um comment down something if you want to talk to me i'd love to talk to you guys so yeah I am going to peace out of here because I got to go to class. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys next week. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you later. Bye loves.